It's here, Internet, and it is time to celebrate. But first off, welcome to Segment Next! My name is James Kukon, and this adoration of a video is on the 10 things you must know about Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know it's gonna be tough, but keep your pants on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Number one, the green tunic is nowhere to be found. That's right, it's been forsaken for a slew of other clothing implements, such as suits of armor and jean capris. I mean, I'm not complaining. Number two, classic items are classic no more. What I mean by that is don't expect to find only a couple swords and shields throughout the game. Enemies carry many variations of weapons, which is good for you because your trusty weapons are subject to wear and tear, and, much like Victoria's Secret Girls, will eventually need to be thrown out and replaced by a better model. Number three, you've got a new goodie in your bag, and it's called the Sheikah Slate. This ancient device is good for unlocking new items, providing the source for magical abilities, and if you act now, it comes with a two-year warranty and 0% APR financing for family models. Number four, early shrines are your new best friend. These microcosm dungeons act as practice rooms for the new abilities and toys you'll pick up over the course of the game. Think of them as your own personal Rocky Meat Locker. Number five, it's a freaking free-for-all, as the rules of battle have changed. While you can still perform the tried-and-true swing-and-dodge moves, those aren't your only options. Throw nearly broken weapons at enemies for a lethal hit, parry and tip your foes off balance, and most importantly, enter into flurry rush mode. Basically, Vats from Fallout 4 meets Matrix bullet time, and slice and dice your unwitting opponents into hamburger meat. Number six, speaking of hamburger meat, cooking food is now one of the primary ways of gaining back your health. Gone are the days where temp landscaping jobs landed you enough hearts to get you through the next chew jelly encounter. Now you've got a man up, put on that apron, and get cooking. Your very life may depend on it. Number seven, as of yet, there is no highly annoying or endearing, whichever you prefer, companion character within the game. However, Nintendo did say they aren't doing any character reveals at E3, so don't worry, DeviantArt. You'll most likely have more fetish fuel from good old Nintendo Land before the decade is through. Number eight, get ready to see a lot more Sheikah stuff. If you haven't noticed, which I sure haven't, past Zelda games have included remnants of Sheikah culture. From the obvious being Zelda's Batman-esque alter ego Sheik, to the less obvious being those Gossip Girl rocks that were actually pretty helpful sometimes. However, Breath of the Wild takes the Sheikah culture from the chorus line to the lead role in the metaphorical musical of Legend of Zelda as their shit is spread everywhere in this game. From killer robots to the tablet you use constantly and absolutely need to get anything done, one thing is clear. The Sheikah are the Legend of Zelda's version of Apple. Spread the word, Steve Jobs lives on in Zelda. Number nine, puzzles just got more... Uh, well, puzzling, I, I guess. Um, expect to be challenged not only by the mechanics of the puzzle, but by the mechanics of physics as well, as Breath of the Wild is placing much more emphasis on the physics of the game's puzzles than any Zelda title has before. And here we are at last, number 10, get ready for some one-on-one -on -one Titanic, the size, not the ship, monster battles because Link is destined to face some massive opponents in this game. With many likening these fights to those in the Shadow of Colossus, Zelda players have nothing left to do but clench their buns in both fear and bravery as they charge in to face those behemoth beasts head-on. Godspeed, you magnificent bastards. Godspeed. And that's all I have for you today, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and moderate your alcohol consumption to reasonable amounts so as to discourage any acts of public urination. Good night!